Quick spoiler warning here for anyone who hasn't seen The Suicide Squad yet. You're gonna be that guy. So, even before the bombshell of the Suicide Squad post credit scene, which revealed that John Cena's Peacemaker was actually still alive, we did know that he would be the focus of his own spin-off show on HBO Max, written and directed by James Gunn himself. But with the plot details kept under wraps, what will the show be about exactly? Well, we have guesses, so let's get speculating, y'all. Millennials. One issue James Gunn had with the Suicide Squad is it lacked development for John Cena's Peacemaker and how he became the lover of liberty who would eat a beach full of phalluses. But with the spin-off series, he can take a deep dive into the character. That means that regardless of where this show will appear in the timeline, there will be some elements of an origin story in the show. This could mean it's an all-out origin story, where we see Peacemaker's life pre-Suicide Squad, or it could be set in the days post-Suicide Squad and have flashbacks to his earlier life. One of these plot points will likely involve his relationship with his father. As Bloodsport recounts his relationships with his douchebag dad, Peacemaker smiles, suggesting that he too has a similar relationship with his father. Peacemaker's father, Augie Smith, is a powerful racist who tortured his son, and it has been confirmed that T2's Robert Patrick will be playing the character. Therefore, it stands to reason that Augie is the reason for why Peacemaker is the way he is, although the show will likely take the opportunity to make Peacemaker much more sympathetic. With Patrick billed for eight episodes, it looks like we'll be seeing some, let's call it, tough love between father and son in the series, and maybe how Peacemaker came to have a toilet seat on his head. But if this show isn't an out-and-out -out origin story and is set after the events of Suicide Squad, there are some other potential storylines that could follow, such as the cleanup of Project Starfish. While Starro is likely dead once and for all, his destruction in Corto Maltese will still be on people's mind, and Waller will make sure that the US's involvement in the project is kept under wraps. But of course, there is currently a loose end, and that is Bloodsport, and the drive he has with all the information. While he has a failsafe that prevents Waller from killing him and having the secret buried that way, you got a deal. there is a possibility that she could set Peacemaker to hunt down the intel and finish the job he started in Jotunheim. It is unlikely that Idris Elba, or any of the other members of the squad for that matter, will show up in the series, but could his failsafe be a new character entirely? One theory suggests that perhaps Bloodsport gave the intel to another anti-hero, Vigilante. It has been confirmed that Chris Conrad will be playing Adrian Chase, aka Vigilante, in the series, and there is a possibility that he and Peacemaker go toe-to-toe -to -toe at some point in the show. Vigilante is… well, he's a vigilante who fights street-level criminals and mob bosses as opposed to soups, and there have been nine iterations of the character in the comics, however, Adrian Chase is probably the most famous. The former DA turned to a life of beaten up bad guys after his family was killed by gangsters, and he has a pre-existing relationship with Peacemaker in the comics, with them having a rivalry, and Peacemaker even killed Vigilante during a plane hijacking before Vigilante tried to get revenge. Whether or not Vigilante has ties to Project Starfish is currently unclear, but we will likely see these two duke it out at some point. Another plot point the series could focus on is one of the last lines of dialogue in the Suicide Squad movie, with the Argus member saying that Peacemaker was needed to save the effing world. Sorry, it's a banned word I'm not allowed to say. What do you guys want him for? Just to save the f***ing world, that's all. This could mean that Peacemaker goes up against an apocalyptic villain in the series, perhaps even another kaiju or big CG monster, because, you know, DC likes to use them. Now, seeing as Peacemaker isn't a soup, it's unclear how effective he will be compared to Superman or Shazam, but maybe he goes up against a big-name villain or anti-hero, or just a regular dude with the chance to destroy the world forever, like a classic Bond villain. <laughs> or maybe that post credit scene was actually teasing another DC movie, like the next Suicide Squad, or even teasing a villain in the form of Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam? Give us your best guesses as to what this world-ending threat could be in the comments below. Another possibility is that Peacemaker sets up a brand new Suicide Squad. While a handful of members did make it out of the movie alive, the surviving members managed to leave Task Force X once and for all, although I'm not too confident on that for all bit. So Waller may be looking to reassemble the squad. Who will be part of that squad exactly? Well, that's unclear. Maybe Vigilante? Or some other new characters like Poison Ivy or Bronze Tiger? Or could old ones rejoin like Weasel or Killer Croc? I have to say, I do kinda wanna see that big creep weasel once again, but give us your best guesses again down below.
And finally, could Peacemaker go rogue and turn on the hand that feeds him, Waller and Argus? While he did follow through on orders, killing Flag even though he saw him as a hero and was willing to kill Ratcatcher too as well, he did at least seem pretty morally conflicted about the whole thing. Maybe as he recovers from his near-fatal wound, he starts to reconsider his life choices and renounces his love for the US government. He's Inspector Gadget. Or maybe Waller and Argus will push Peacemaker too far and he decides to bring down the house from within. It's a possibility, and it would surely make him more sympathetic. Again though, and I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, we will have to wait and see. But hey, that's the whole point about speculating. This is a random theory and not necessarily anything to do with Peacemaker, but could the show involve the return of TDK? If I'm not mistaken, which I might be, in the last shot of TDK, he is technically alive, albeit mortally wounded, and his picture never goes red. More TDK, anyone?